What's up, guys? Today's a review, and you're not seeing my face because I don't have anything to cover it yet. That's why my voice sounds so out loud. Yeah, that's the word. I think. But anyway, hope you're enjoying Kaiju Week. I'll be at G Fest, and at least one of the days, I will be wearing this. Okay, it says Godzilla Boss Gaming. It's it's a white shirt. Looks like this. Okay, it's the important part, and you'll probably recognize my voice. It says Godzilla Boss Gaming right there, so that should help. But yeah, that's about it. Here. But, um, let's get to the review, and I really hope, I really think you'll enjoy this review, because it's of an SH figure, as well, you probably read that from the tiles. So. Uh, let's go. So this is the Ultraman Marshall Flames box. It's an SH figure, as, as you can see. And, move this back a bit. Alright, it's all the way up. But it's a pretty cool box. It's got a little decal inside but that doesn't look so put. And on the back it's got pictures and Japanese. It's got um this is choking hazard, all you small children of under three years specifically. If you're three you're fine. But yeah. Um, this the bottom, which is just his name. Tremendous lots of flame. You got the sides. This has a two on it. Right here, I don't know why. And stop. That's it. Now let's look at the actual boy himself. It's nice and he's he's an alright size. He's not too big, not too small. He's got some and I must say, the painting and sculpting on this figure is amazing. SH Figure Arts has done it again with another Ultraman. Now, I only have one other Ultraman to compare this to. So... Take it with a grain of salt. I don't know. But his articulation is a wonder. The painting just looks amazing in points. But this guy is a little worn out. I mean, I got him in May, so been a while but the painting doesn't ship easy and I didn't get very many quality control issues I don't think I got any actually if there are any hairs on it it's probably from my dog this guy has been sitting up on my shelf really high just waiting just asking to be reviewed and that's the only thing I have to review right Right? I, it's the only thing I have to review. I don't have anything else to review. Nothing at all. Yeah. But, this is Kaiju Week, and he classifies as Kaiju. Don't ask me why. Nobody cares. And I don't know the lore behind this guy. I just know that he's a pyromaniac. I... He's like one of the Rosso Blue brothers. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I just know that he's fire. Oh no, 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 that's stupid. But yeah, he's, he's a great figure, and when it comes to standing, said so when it comes to standing, kind of has to lean forward. Gonna sand around a bit more. And I've noticed this before, but has he sculpted in six pack? See so you got the um the um sculptors over there at Bandai. Really know what's up. I don't know. This guy's just an SH figure. He's not part of the Ultract line, which I don't really collect because I'm an SH man. SH figure and monster arts. I don't know what the SH stands for even. But I just know that the figures are pretty good. Now let's talk 
about his accessories. And the accessories that he has, well, pretty good. So let me show you those. One sec. And this guy looks great in some action poses, especially this. I just used a blue flame effect. I personally would prefer to use this as an orange or like a red, but mm, what can you do? And this guy wouldn't be able to accomplish any poses without some posability. He's got a ball joint at the head, which connects into the neck, and a ball joint at the base of the neck, which is semi-strange. And also, if you bend this, that little thing is going to come up with it, and I recommend to try and keep those aligned. He's got rotation at the arm. Arm moves out. It can... Can't really go in. Swivel hinge combo on these little shoulder pads. You can make them look like guns if you want to. I don't know. I just call them sword pads. Elbow joint. Ball joint at the wrist, which allows for rotation. You got arc back and an ab crunch. Beautiful spread. forward and back, rotation here, bend at the knee, ball jointed ankle, well, with, but you can't get an ankle rotation, I mean, come on, but you can get an, a pretty great pivot, and a toe bend, I almost forgot to mention in the accessories section that this comes out, and so does his chest plate, and you can replace it with this red version, which came with the original, the normal Type A Ultraman figure. What you want to do is you want to pop it in. So from this view, if you're looking at the back of it, you want to look at the back of it. You want to make sure that the bigger one is on the left, not the right. I think. Here, let me try. I'm an. Yeah, on the left, not the right, like this. The bigger one is on the left, see? Bigger one on the left. And then what you do is you just plug that back in, and they call this the color timer. It's basically supposed to replicate that point when Ultraman's power gets low, and he needs to go, like, quit, and, like, end the fight soon. Also, I have a slight problem with mine. Mine won't bend its arm back in. But, let's continue. Now, this guy is a pretty sizable schmuff I said schmuff this is a schwa dang it but he's a he's a pretty good size which um I don't know this is just a segue into size comparison the NECA hold on a minute the SH Monster Arts Godzilla the Benai Tamashii Nations Gypsy Avenger and of course the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Type A and in my opinion, these two figures look great next to each other. Amazingly. And my score out of 10 for this figure, it's probably an 8, maybe a 7.5. Because this guy is fun to pose, fun to look at, and he's just an all-around cool figure with a good amount of accessories. And his price is only $50 at the Big Bad Toy Store. So I recommend you go buy him if you're a fan of Ultraman, Kaiju, or just the Schwa line. Because, well, it's a pretty good representation of that. Especially in quality control terms with all the panic. I, now, I might just be lucky with quality control. I don't know. But, please like, comment, and subscribe because it's Thursday of Kaiju Week. Guys. And I told you this in the intro, but... Like, comment, and subscribe to see some more videos from me. Please share this video with your friends. If we get to 25 subscribers, I will do something special. But I'll see you guys at G-Fest. Bye-bye.